Hey, yo, what's good, y'all? I go by the name of Phantom, and I'm on Real Talk with the Realest. Plug in. My boy Danny Phantom, man. What's going on, Brody? Yes, sir. Chilling, man. Humble. How you doing, bro? You been good? Yes, sir. Chilling, taking it day by day. Man, you got so many titles, man. You know what I'm saying? You doing the DJ thing, your producer, your publicist, investor. You're doing so much stuff, man. Like, how are you managing it? All of this stuff. Um, actually, it's it's a hassle. I still don't got it all the way down. I'm not going to lie. Um, it's just basically about structure, bro. Like, I just got to, you know, make time for everything. Since I'm doing so many things, it's like I might focus on this too much and then not pay attention to this for a couple weeks and then try to catch up on this. So... It's really just about structure, bro. I just got to, you know, get it together for real. Oh, I feel that definitely. Yeah. Time management and stuff too, yeah, for sure. For sure. I feel that. So, go ahead and give me a little bit about your background and stuff, man. So, where are you from, bro? Um, Well, I was born in Atlanta. Um, I lived there about, what, three, four years. I moved to Macon, Georgia. Um, then from Macon, I moved to Columbus, Ohio. I lived there for 10 years. Um. 2016, my senior year of high school, my pops got a he got a job out in Nashville, so I moved to Nashville. My senior year of high school, did one year of high school out there, um, and basically I was new here, so you know I was like, uh, maybe I can uh, you know find a college out here. So I ended up going to TSU. Um, ended up doing about a year and a half there until um, I dropped out and started pursuing my music career. Man, no, that's what's up, man. So like when you when did you figure, like, well, I'm like, man, you know what, the school thing is just, like, <clears throat> not my thing. I'm about to just go ahead and hit this. I'm not going to lie, bro. Last day I ever went to class, bro, I was dissecting a pig. <laughs> I was dissecting a pig in biology class. And I just thought to myself, I'm like, bro, what am I doing? Because at the time I was a business major, you know, business mm -hmm. administration. I had no business classes at the time. So I'm just thinking, like, bro, I'm in here dissecting a pig when I'm supposed to be doing this and learning this, you know yeah. what I'm saying, that's not my lane, that's for, you know what I'm saying, right, I'm wrong yeah. with that, but that's just not my lane, so, after that, I just never went to class again, bro, oh, yeah, you just said, forget it, I'm not going back, yeah, bro, I never came back, bro, man, <laughs> and after that, you know, you just, like, I ain't looking back, you've been going crazy I since, I can't, like, I, it's so crazy, bro, like, I done dropped so much, so many things, bro, like, that I had going on, and just, forget about that, I gotta push this, Mm -hmm. So that's why I just keep going because it's, it's really no stopping out. I, I don't got no other plan for real, you know. So feel that. Yeah. I feel that. So you feel like after like in college, that's when you made this like a full career path. I made it a full career path. Um, you know, starting out it was just a, a hobby. You know, trying to get into it. Mm -hmm. But um, shout out DJ, DJ Sunny D. He sort of you know taught me coming up because he taught me to treat it like a job more than just a hobby. You know, so I took it full force. I like that for sure. Because that's one thing, you know, if you look at it like a hobby, you're not going to really see too much money and stuff coming out of it. But if yeah, you look at bro. this like it's your job, you're not going to go go work for nobody else, man. At all, bro. And it's a lot of dedication with that too, bro, because you miss out on a lot of money taking opportunities. Mm -hmm. I took a lot, of, a lot of opportunities to get where I'm at. So it wasn't just, you know, a lot of stuff I did, bro, I didn't get paid for at first. You know what I'm saying? Thanks. So, yeah, you gotta do that sometimes. You definitely gotta start somewhere. Yeah. That's the last one thing a lot of people don't understand too. It's a lot of stuff that you gotta do for free just to get your foot in the door. Yeah, bro, that's that's literally what it's all about, bro. Put put yourself here, put yourself there, put yourself here, like, and then it's all gonna add up one day. Exactly. Sure. So how do you feel like that journey's been so far? You know, after you just left school and everything, how's it been treating you? Um, I've had good good times. I had bad times. You know what I'm saying? It's all. People fail to realize this process, this whole music process or whatever process you're taking, it's going to be a lot of ups and downs. It's not just good here. It's not just bad here. It's going to be ups and downs. So I say it treat me good. I treat it like a, it's, a, it's a journey to me, bro. It's an adventure. So I, I wake up. I don't complain. I just I try to figure out what I'm going to do to be productive. That's what's up. Yeah. Cause that's how I be having to do sometimes. I be like, no, I'm just gonna get up and go. You know get what I'm saying? Get up and go. Sometimes you, I had a big problem with overthinking back in the day. You know, mm -hmm. I would overthink things and just think it through. End up not even doing it. You know what I'm saying? Instead of just all right, it pops up in my head, go do this. Instead of thinking over it or asking a couple people, should I do this? And then they t tell me no, and it throws me off. You know what I'm saying? Just go mm -hmm. do it. It makes sense, man. So, so when, like, the pandemic and stuff hit, like, I know that you were DJing at one point and stuff. Yeah. Like, how did that affect, you know, DJing? Man, it affected me big time because uh, 
actually two two summers. Well, the summer before the the pandemic hit, the pandemic hit in last March. So the summer before that, I was actually on tour. Uh, shout out Cook Up Boss. Shout out uh, Ron um, for bringing me out. Um, and actually, we were supposed to go back on tour that April uh, mm. with Yellow Wolf. And mm. it just threw everything off because everything was canceled. So at this point, I had no gigs. And remember, this is my job. Like, yeah. I don't work a job and do nothing at the time. So it was like, whoa. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so I took more to uh, you know, I had to figure out what I'm going to do. So I just, I started producing more. Mm. You know, I, I've always been in love with beats. And actually, when I was growing up, I never knew I would ever be a DJ or producer do anything in music ever mm -hmm. so um i just took on making beats bro because i mean i was in the crib like you don't got nothing to do it's quarantine you don't know what the virus is at the time you know what i'm saying they were just mm -hmm. saying it's a deadly virus you didn't people weren't touching doorknobs or nothing you You're know right. what i'm saying so i'm like Sh i gotta find something to do bro so i just started making beats and uh you know i just i figured out the formula bro and i haven't stopped Man, and you've sure. been doing it. You're doing your thing, man, cool. for sure. Because you've been dropped. You didn't drop a couple of uh, collab tapes. All the Phantom seasons. Yeah, yeah. So uh, my mixtapes actually, I got one coming up, uh, dropping next month. Phantom season volume six. If y'all want to know where those are at, those are on Spinrilla. All Phantom season tapes. Um, basically, they has over over five hundred thousand streams, bro. And that's without a major artist. They're all just me scouting talent. You know, throwing them on the mixtape just let them do what they do bro so i definitely um would uh take an a and r um position one day hopefully um but right now i'm staying independent i'm trying to do everything on my own i don't want anybody over me you know i just want to stay on my path i like that for sure you don't want nobody just telling you how to do what you want to do and yeah stuff. bro that, that, that throws me off because i didn't, like even in school bro I, I didn't listen to teachers i didn't listen to principals i i just i was always just I was hard headed, but at the same time, it's a good and bad thing. You know what I'm saying? Because mm -hmm. a lot of people that weren't, they're yes men. And, you know, I never want to be a yes man. Ever. I don't ever want to, you know, not question something. I so, feel that. Yeah, sure, bro. Man, so you just said you did, you're killing it with dropping the Phantom season and everything. You got the volume six and stuff going on. How sure. is it working with so many different artists, man? How was that I collaboration like? I love it, bro. I love it because, um, you get to hear about everybody's story, and uh, I'm just, I'm not I'm unlike a, a regular DJ or a, a regular producer, bro. Like I really have connections with certain artists, bro. Like mm -hmm. you talk on the phone every day, you know what I'm saying? That artist producer connection is 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 major, bro. People sleep on it. Like you got some producers that'll just send the beat, and you'll never hear from them again. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? That's not me. I want to be in the studio when you make it. I want to promote just just as hard as you. I want to put money behind it just as hard as you because it's my product too. Mm -hmm. And that's how everything's going to go up. So I love it, bro. Like, um, and maybe one day, well, it is going to happen one day. I'm going to put a couple artists on, bro, big time. You know, hopefully a, a, a major independent thing. Um, I'm not too much into labels and deals and stuff like that. Uh, I'm more in the independent route. So hopefully we can make something major happen independently. Got you. Yes, sir. So, like, is it possible, like, because I'll be seeing that a lot of you, you post all your, like, your tapes on Spinrilla. Yeah. Is it, like, possible to ever, like, put them on to, like, you know, Tidal or Apple Music, any of them, or you um, just chose to keep them on Spinrilla? Actually, uh, well, for my mixtapes, since I don't own the rights to those songs, I just throw them on Spinrilla. But, um, mm -hmm. actually, I forgot to mention this. How I'm going to transition over is, um, I'm basically dropping the album, uh, maybe next month, maybe in the, the next month after. But I'm dropping the album with all the songs I produce, mm -hmm. you know, so putting it on one tape on all platforms since it's my, I have rights to do that. That's so, cool. you know, I'm trying to work it in both ways. You yeah. Know? Yeah. And then that way you can, you actually make uh, profit and everything off of profit, it, right? and it's all good business. Splits with the artists, like, uh, man, it's crazy, bro. It's crazy, man. man. It's about to happen. And you got a big following, you know, 500,000 streams. So I know moving that over is going to be no problem making no the numbers problem, hit man. again. No problem, bro. Man, so do you do, like, your own marketing and promoting? Do you have a team behind you? I do my own marketing and promotion. I, I study on my own. I do everything on my own. And, and basically what I learn, I try to teach. Mm -hmm. uh, for the people I mess with, the people I want to see win, man, I tell them the game. Um, basically, I do everything on my own, bro. Like, I, I never really had anybody to, you know, teach me the game or, or 
give me the flowers too much on, on my end, you know what I'm saying? A lot of, 90% of the stuff I, I've done, it's, it's been on my own, you know? Mm -hmm. Just taking that risk, putting myself out there. Man, that's what's going to take you further, too, because you're actually sitting here, you want to go learn how to get your stuff out there. But that's, like, different. You know, a lot of people aren't out here trying to actually figure out how to get their stuff seen. They're kind of waiting for it to happen or want that overnight hit, and that doesn't happen all the time that's, for everybody. That's the, that's the problem, man. And uh, I, I was talking to a couple artists actually from Nashville, and, you know, they were sort of arguing about why the, you know, their city hasn't, you know, Boom. expanded, but... At the same time, you can't really blame the culture that is country music because who's stopping you from getting the real talk interview mm -hmm. or getting the Say Cheese post or getting the World Star post? Mm -hmm. Nobody's stopping you but yourself. You're not thinking about it. Mm -hmm. So it's like it's not enough putting yourself out there to be seen because that's, that's really the formula. That's what the labels do, bro. Yeah. Like they'll take in an artist, an average artist, put promotion behind them, put ads behind them, do everything for them, and boom, he's the biggest thing so exactly. it's like if you see your favorite artist doing it why don't you promote your stuff exactly you know, so. and it's way more than like you say it's way more than just putting out music you yeah. got to put your face out there interact with people interviews like you're just saying like it's way more than just dropping a song yeah you know they, what I'm saying they think it's literally just go to the studio drop a song drop a video with the same videographer and boom it's that's a big one too and I'll be I'll be telling other artists that too like you can't keep working with the same artists I'll be telling people I work with like yo you gotta work with other people we have different audiences keep it going everywhere bro. you wanna be seen man, you, if you're everywhere bro it's it's the perfect form the perfect blueprint bro if you're everywhere and you're playing your cards right you're, you're not gonna lose exactly you're not gonna and you, like you're saying, traveling too. Like if you've been in LA and Atlanta, that networking in different cities is also plays a big part in that. Sleep on that, man. They'd rather you know go to LA and take a couple pictures. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm gonna go network, bro. I actually, that's, go. That's they have go. fun. I'm like, nah, man. It's a business trip. <laughs> you feel me? Yeah, yeah. I don't know how to separate it. Man, no, I get that. But that's good that you already understand that you know how to separate business from pleasures. So like you know where it's gonna take you in the end. Not for sure, bro. Yeah, for sure, man. So like you know. You did the, the tape with EJ, the maker, bro. Yes, sir. Tell us about that. That was like, um, that's a big project. That's my boy. Shout out EJ, the maker, man. Uh, crazy rager out here. He's from Nashville. Um, basically, we put it together, bro. We had like maybe one song we did. It was like, he, he hopped on one of my first beats I ever made. And we just had that song. And then one day, I had just played this one beat. I'm like, man, I don't know. I wasn't pretty sure about it. Mm -hmm. He was like, man, this shit's hard. I'm like, all right, shit. He's like, I'm trying to record. Send me a couple more. Um, so I sent them to him. Went to the studio with him while he recorded every single one, and we just put it together, bro. We, we went to L.A., got a couple shows uh, right when it dropped. Like I think it was like a couple days after it dropped. Got a couple shows, um, promoted it. They messed with us a lot, bro. And it's been going up ever since, bro. I think it's probably at like 60,000 streams right now. Man, and sure. this it was a dope song. I loved it and everything, Appreciate bro. You that, bro. killing it though. I was like, when I seen that, I was like, he, like you just some that's a really big collab, bro. Yeah, really. EJ the maker, he's actually on a lot of people's stuff too. I was like, man, you got yeah, here he, doing he, things. He, he's going crazy, bro. He's, he's 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 one of the few that's that's about to you know put himself out there for real. He actually has a song out right now. It's about to hit a hundred thousand views. A video. Sheesh. Yeah, so it's crazy, bro. Stay tuned. Man. Man, I'm glad y'all still locked in. Y'all still doing work and everything. Oh, yeah, and Major Rager, too, on the way. We do have another EP on the way. Definitely. Need that, need sure. that, for sure, man. So, you got any um big, like, next steps coming up, man, for us that you can listen to? Um, big next steps. Man, I'm just, I'm just keep moving, man. Uh, I had an A&R opportunity not too long ago um, from a, a pretty decent uh, label. I, I, I denied it. I wasn't. I wasn't really ready for that. Mm -hmm. Well, I, I was ready, but I, I don't like it. I'm not about to give up what I'm doing. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah, and they were telling me, you know, it's going to take, they wanted the contract back in two days. And oh, yeah. I'm like, that's not, really not enough time. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So I pushed that to the side. But other than that, man, just keep networking. Uh, shout out Big Papito. We made three beats yesterday. That's a two chains producer. Um, man, I'm just, keep moving around, bro. Like, that's literally the, I don't have, I'm not really set on anything. Like whatever my mind pops up, like if my mind said, "All right, you gotta go to Idaho mm -hmm. for this show," I'm gonna go tomorrow. You know what I'm saying? So okay. it's just like it's really nothing set in stone. I'm just keep moving, man. 
Man, that's what's up, man. Let's keep working, for sure. Yeah. You have any big shout outs for your supporters or anything you want to give, man? Um, shout out my sister, Melo Rose. She's one of the hardest singers ever. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Shout out her. Um, shout out DJ Sunny D once again, man. He, he helped me out starting out a lot, bro. Like, all the advice he gave me, you know what I'm saying? And just seeing his work ethic was crazy. It just it pushed me to keep going, man. We both Aries, so, you mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? We, we move the same. But, um, Shout out Cook Up Boss for bringing me on tour. Shout out Ron uh, and Photos by Zoe. I wouldn't have went on tour without Zoe. Zoe's the one who put my name in there. Shout out Zoe. Zoe's going crazy. Um, shout out Scholar Cooking Up, Nate Rhythm, uh, Young Stoic. Remember most of the producers I made beats with. Um, yeah, that's really it, bro. Yeah, man. It sounds like you got a strong team behind you, a support oh, yeah. system and everything, man. Yeah, it's about to go crazy, bro. It's Definitely, man. Up. I can't wait to see you go crazy, bro. I, I'm already, you know, I'm already locked in with you, so I'm already right, to sure. continue watching your journey and everything, yeah. bro. But I'm definitely proud of you, bro, for sure, man. Appreciate that shit, bro, for sure. For sure, man. Let's go ahead and get you up out of here, man. Let's Salute to your audience and everything before you get up out of here, bro. Hey, man, I go by the name of Phantom. Y'all can follow me on Instagram at I am Phantom. Instead of a T, put a 7. It's a 7. Not Phantom with an F, it's a P. Stop acting dumb. Stop <laughs> acting dumb. But yeah, shout out to y'all. Shout out Real Talk, man. And just stay tuned in, man. We got a lot of big shit coming up. So. Thanks, man. Appreciate you, Brody. Yes, sir.